Hello, it's me that you're looking for. I'm sorry, that was outdated. FDR once said the only thing to fear is fear itself. Clearly FDR has never seen a movie with a ghost child in it. I mean the mixture of the innocence of a child with the spookiness of a dead person. It just gives me the heebie-jeebies. Which is why, in honor of The Conjuring, we're gonna break down the top five scariest ghost children of all time. In movies, of course. Pop culture, pop countdown. Yeah. At number five, it's Samara Morgan, AKA the long-haired wet ghost girl from The Ring. This ghost girl is terrifying, not only because you could hardly see her face and she contorts her bodies in different ways, but because she crawls out of televisions. I mean, imagine you're watching Shark Tank and all of a sudden Mark Cuban crawls out of your TV and goes, I'm gonna have to pass on the fart candle. That's terrifying. Now imagine if Mark Cuban was a Japanese water ghost looking to seek revenge. Yeah, Spooky City, USA. And at number four, it's the Grady sisters from The Shining. What's scarier than a ghost child? Two ghost children standing side by side and talking in unison. These two made ghost child history with the famous Come um, play with us, Danny. Which isn't even the scariest part of the scene. The scariest part is when it cuts back to Danny screaming in silence. And number three, it's Toshio. The little white ghost boy in Juon, or the American remake, The Grudge. If you're not familiar, picture this. A little tiny Japanese boy painted head to toe in white paint with his eyes blackened. And he meows like a cat. Okay, saying that out loud, it kind of sounds pretty ridiculous. But imagine you're at home, and you close your closet door, and that thing is right there meowing. You'd be going to Target to buy new underwear. Well, you probably call the police first about the Japanese ghost boy, but eventually you're gonna go to Target and replace the shit stained underwear. And number two, it's the daughter from The Others. If you haven't seen it, there's a scene that is quintessential ghost child. The main character, who's played by Nicole Kidman, is slowly walking to the child whose back is to the camera, and she's covered in a white sheet, playing with a little wooden toy. And as the camera pans across, she's singing a little girl song. La, la, la. I mean, why is she singing that song in particular? Why doesn't she sing a LMFAO song? That's the scariest thing a little girl can do. Sing a song. I mean, we should use that in war. We should send little girls singing ghost songs to our enemy. We'd win in a second. And at number one, the top ghost child in movie history is... Casper the Friendly Ghost. Okay, okay, I can see you rolling your eyes, but think about it. Why is he so friendly? He's a ghost! He probably has some terrible, deep, dark secret that he's not sharing. The fact that he's so friendly creeps me out. I mean, think about all the people that you know who are overly friendly. They're weird. They're creepy. They have some deep, dark secret. And they're alive. Casper is dead! And don't tell me the only thing he wants is to slow dance with Christina Ricci. I'm telling you, he wants something more. Like her soul. Well, those are the top five scariest ghost children in movie history. If I forgot your favorite ghost child, leave a comment below. Well, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And remember the Alamo. Woohoo! Did you like that video? I'm just gonna assume that you're nodding your head yes. Well, you should subscribe to the channel. That's a great idea if you wanna see more Yoni time.